Hello everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to Civilization VI Gathering Storm. In the last part, we found the Bandar Brunei city-state, Greece, and Australia. And we've come across two tribal villages, one of which I have already gone to, and got a scout, which we are then going to send into this other tribal village. And it looks like it gave us another population. Cool beans. Kaba River, or Raba River. That's three tribal villages. I'm surprised we haven't seen any barbarians yet this playthrough. They usually give me a really hard time. village this game. I'm starting to think that I accidentally unchecked. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. That tribal village wasn't there before, was it? I'm going there anyway. And we have gotten an envoy. That's new. Yeah, let's set an envoy. Ekeine polis hehemetera estin, para inoso ime poli pragmonein. And Pericles is mad at us for sending an envoy to that city state. Well, his agenda is the Delian League. He likes civilizations that are. Com that are not competing for the same city-state allegiance, and he dislikes those that do. But again, getting envoys from tribal villages is quite new. I don't think I've ever seen that in the base game or the Rise and Fall expansion before. time. River Forth. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Yeah. And we've gotten faith. Uh, this is also new, the world climate thing, where you can view the world's climate and the weather. That's two more tribal villages. What do we do next? Ah, uh, that's the dead end. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'll settle here next turn. We've met another civilization already. الدائم الذي لا ينتهي ملكه أرسل إليك تحياتي يا صديق العزيز And we've met Saladin of Arabia Hospitality Yeah We're very close to avoiding a dark age And we can select the Pantheon now once you have 25 faith in the base game or the Rise and Fall expansion, you can choose a Pantheon. I don't know how much faith you would need to select a Pantheon in the Gathering Storm expansion. Uh, let's see. Let's settle. Our people know this new resource may be essential for building certain military units, and they have begun to stockpile it for future use. We should manage our use of this resource to make the most of it. And we have the early Empire Civic boost. Thank you. I like this music. Another tribal village? Where are those barbarians? Um, I'm just gonna go for a score victory this game. I'm still exploring all of those other features of the Gathering Storm expansion. I'll do plus one boot camps. This just isn't as boosted. And we have avoided the Dark Age. Cool. Um, this is one thing that I wanted the developers of this game to fix when the Gathering Storm expansion came out. This is the uh, heroic age icon that you would get when you would achieve enough era score to avoid a dark age and earn a golden age. Instead of the golden age in a dark age, you would earn a heroic age where you would make three dedications. Um, this is supposed to be a Golden Age icon, and not a Heroic Age icon. Yeah, something I kind of, I kind of hope that the creators of this game would fix. And Saladin is sending us a delegation, which I will gladly welcome. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Yeah, the policies you get from mysticism are wild card policies, which I don't have in my current government, so I'm going to go for political philosophy. And here's Genghis Khan of Mongolia. 
They're offering us hospitality. Let's see whose lands we approach. And he's sending us a delegation already. Horses, youth's bow, Arag. Accepted. I'm gonna get my production up since we're building that campus. Surprised that Mongolia, Greece, haven't established borders yet. But once they do, your troops will be forced out of their lands until they offer you open borders for their country, or vice versa. Same thing would go with my country. If you have the early empire civic done, you have the ability to offer other civilizations open borders with them. Yeah. Commentary's kind of off. This is only my first playthrough. Building a camp here to get more food, since that's what my pantheon's all about. Another city state? Another tribal village? Alright. Oh, we've already collected it. somewhat boring, but at least I'm revealing more of the map. Another tribal village. Where are those barbarians? They're usually all over a place. And we have Poundmaker with the Cree. In honor to meet you. And we have the offer to exchange capital locations. I'll do it. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. And their capital is all the way down here. And there's their unique unit, the, uh, have the Oki... I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to do astrology now. And we have completed our civilization's first campus with a starting adjacency bonus of three or higher. And astrology boost, and I think that's going to be a state workforce boost, and I think that's going to be a good place to stop. I love this expansion pack so far. I can't wait to play more of it. But until then, see you later.